Hey yeah, guys, Eastern Ontario. Well, my first attempt to uh, waste gas, uh, I mean waste oil or vegetable oil, whatever you want to burn in there, gas, fuel, kerosene. Uh, yeah, that's it. The first attempt. <laughs> and it seems to be working. the drip we got going right now it's a pure uh, engine oil waste engine oil and uh, this is what we're getting as a as a nice flame you put two rotors together they slide in little brackets well I put two uh, should I I put two rotors together put brackets on it just to make it whole on three sides and you can easily pull it out push it in to clean it or whatever and uh, like I, right here we got a drip and it goes into the first rotor and it seems to be working real fine just took some three uh, some uh, I don't know what you, those fence posts there made three legs the base now we just got to put a pan we're outside we're okay for now but uh, I'm glad we finally have it it's tricky to get the right amount of air in there we just found out that as much air as you can put in better it is so and we're not still a hundred percent clean but we're freaking damn close little bit of smoke a little bit of smoke huh hey, it's pretty smoke we can give him uh we probably give it more air but it's mostly steam nice that's old oil and we got lots of old oil i can't man, man it's working we have another one to do be basically the same model but just tiny different thing that we learn into this one the other one I'll make it uh, wood and oil. It'll be both. Listen to that rocket. I don't know if it picks up in the video. This is the drip I'm using right now. And we just attach. This is an old uh, Freon, or no, I said the calibration for uh, error emission tests. Uh, gas it's like neutral gas and uh, got valves on it so we're gonna put another valve more safety later but for now we just wanted to try it and it goes down and they say to put it close so it warms up the oil to have a nice drip and now our next one will be basically the same bit different but I'm putting a coil inside there and I'm gonna heat water with it and that will heat the um, the greenhouse that we're making so and the unit can stay outside and bring glossosamine inside you know for like prestone or whatever and radiators it'll be cleaner but uh, <laughs> we fucking finally got it man go working so any comments put it on there and uh, I saw this model on the internet if you want to learn about it just punch in the uh, waste oil gas uh, burners or furnace do it yourself you know and uh, something's gonna come up oh, so and this is what I came up with so and look at that eh like I say basically no more smoke right now just a tiny bit of smoke oh started to rain too so We'll let it burn for a little bit. And then we got a paint job to do. And then it's uh, going to be a permanent installation in the, my friend's garage. This is, like I say, the first one we built. We always built for him. First rocket stove, first uh, first thing that I ever built here uh, was for him. And here's my other tanks. This will be the uh, same thing, my other one. But one of them will be for oil. And I'm making a wood compartment with the other one. And it will fit underneath the same thing with the rotor. 
and I'll be able to use it wood or gas so can't wait I'll make a video out of that one too uh, so far it seems to be working um, can't wait to stop it I'd like to see how much fuel there is in there but I think it's burning as we speak because this is the drip a little bit faster sometimes a little bit slower it depends on the pockets of air inside there we just put this flash piece just in case we run real fuel or high velocity fuel in case there's a you know fumes or could splash or I don't know I just felt it more safety with a little splash guard just in case we're gonna bring this up a little bit more you know and make it more safety but you know for now well on mine this one is finished the way it is it doesn't <laughs> my buddy doesn't care so but uh, seems to be working very well this is the rocket it's like my rocket stove man I can't believe it when I heard it first time takes a while to uh, we uh, warm up though I found that out we just put a little bit of diesel fuel at the start and boom then we let it burn and look at that no freaking smoke man clean burn clean burn I love things that clean burn and we get a little puff once in a while but damn we're in the middle of uh, July I should say at the end of July so not even cold out we're not supposed to even burn this and damn it's hot beside this freaking thing but okay I babble enough. I hope some people uh, got the model out of this. And, and if you need more information, just go on the net. There's lots of it. And this is the front of the machine, of the unit, I should say. And uh, look, now there's a little bit of smoke, but that's okay. Most of the time it goes away. It depends all on the flow. How fast it burns in there, the wind. But hey, there you go guys, my first uh, waste oil burner furnace, and damn it was hot in front of that. Alright, take care, see you guys later.